How many? How many ice cubes do you put in your drink? Eleven. See, I'm not the only one who has little fetishes. It's just taste. Freckles, you've been fed. I think he wants a treat. Yes, of course he wants a treat. Every time I make a drink, he thinks he gets a treat. And you know why? Because you do. Because he gets a treat. <laughs> it's not like everybody isn't spoiled in this house. Right? Simba's outside. That's, so you'll have to get Simba later. What? You're welcome. I'm sorry, it is so worth the dollar. Simba, our Bootsy is just a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, Freckles is our, ate all his already because he's just a little hogger. And Boomer's still eating on his a little bit at a time. And Kevin is still making his drink. Yeah. Because you're in my way. Ah, how am I in your way? Because I couldn't get scissors out to cut my thing. It was in the drawer right here. You could have said excuse me and I would have moved. It's too much work. Too much work to say excuse me. Now look, see that wrapper right there on the, on the counter? On the little island? See that I right do. There? I see it. That'll stay there till the morning until I throw it out. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. And it, it, it's not a good idea, but it always does. I it'll, throw it'll, about four of them out every morning. It, it'll have friends by the end of the night. Yeah. They're going to have their own little party right there. Uh, they are. Yeah. And when I wipe this down, it always has, like, red stuff on the paper towel. I know. When they, I wipe it down. They, they end up in your ice cubes when you do your uh, ice bags at night. What am I gonna do with you? Nothing. There's a bunny! Not only do you complain because you don't have your food, look at the mess you make when you eat. Come on, clean up after yourself. You know your mother's OCD. We liked it better when we thought you had no voice. Yeah, what happened? There, now that'll keep you quiet for about two minutes. So what are you doing, Boomer? Why are you in the box? Simba's been sleeping in that box. So you think you're going to be a Weisenheimer and take her, his box away? That's not very nice. Boomer. It's not very nice. Simba. You want to go outside? You want to go outside, baby? Ha Boomer, Simba gets to go outside and you don't. That's what you get for taking Simba's box.
Not so much fun now, is it? So are you going to try what the spasmodic said? Do you want me to read it to you? Yeah. Okay, so here's what the spasmodic says. Hats off to you for your persistence, Kevin. <laughs> In the outside panel, mm -hmm. I would trace the wire that comes off the breaker to where it goes into the jacketed cable. Okay. Then follow the white wire in that cable to wherever it connects to the panel. And tighten that screw or all the white wire connect connections for that matter. Then take your voltmeter and hold it between the bar and all the white wires and the black wire on the breaker. If you have 120 volt there, but still not in the house, you may have an unknown junction box with a bad joint or a damaged wire. If you still have low voltage between those points in the panel, you may have other problems that an electrician should look at. Best of luck. Okay. Any of that makes sense? Yeah, I'll have to give it a take a look at it because I don't know if I could follow the white out of the jacket and wire because it's in a um, conduit. Okay, so here we are by the breaker box. Alright, so this is the wire. It's this yellow one. And this is the... Uh, the ground. Alright? And I've got a good one... 118, 119. So it's right. So we, that's right. All right. So, however, it's this yellow wire, and I trace it down into this conduit. So I can't really say where, where the white one goes. So he's saying that one of these white ones might be loose. Okay. So I'm just going to I'm just going to tighten them all, which means I'm going to have to turn the power off. Okay. Our house is dead. All right, I hope it is because I don't want to electrocute myself. And that's a zero. So our house is dead. Let's have a funeral for our house. Now the first thing I want to do is, I want to see if I can get this wire in here a little further. I know that's in there good and tight. Isn't that kind of like a German word, good and tight? No, it's not. Alright, so here are my white wires. And now what are the white wires for? Um, that is the neutral. The, the black is the, the power comes in. It goes through the house, and then it has to come back to the box on a white wire. So that's the neutral. And what is the yellows? Well, they're, the different colors go to different parts of the house. Oh, okay. And a couple of times. So. What keeps beeping? Uh, every time I push this button. Oh, beeps. okay. If it stays on, then I'm in trouble.
and that's it. Uh, I'm actually better now I, at a 120. Wow, maybe oh, I didn't get you. I was getting the back of your neck. Uh, <laughs> I'm a horrible camera person. So let's check the pa the stuff in the house. Maybe it worked. Hi. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Still 103. Yep, still running around a 103. I can't what see I that. really don't understand is how, after months and months of it working, that all of a sudden one day I heat something up in the microwave and it just starts flickering on and off and clicking. It made a clicking noise and then it just stopped. I don't understand what, why that happened, what could have caused that to happen just out of the blue. I really don't know. Neither do I. Hey everybody! Guess what time it is! <laughs> He's got more energy than me right now. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> That's Megan yelling from the other room and Kevin yelling at Megan. <laughs> anyway, we asked everybody what their favorite scary movie was and what scary movie scared them the most. Big so, difference between the two. There is. So Kevin, what is yours? My favorite scary movie uh, is a creepy scary. There's, you know, like the jump at you and, and screamy scary and then there's the creepy scary that kind of crawls into your skin. I, that one would be the original black and white haunting. Same with me. Uh, it's one of my, that's the scariest movie I saw. I really loved that movie. Now, the movie that probably scared me the most, mainly because it, it's one of those things that you think, this could happen, this could happen, would have been the original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A lot of people said that in, in, in the, uh, yeah. in the vlog. Yeah, yeah, that was not just scary, it was disturbing scary. The movie that scared me the most, and I, I don't know why, because it really wasn't that scary, but it was the movie Psycho. And yeah, that, that was the scene with him in the shower with the... That one scared me the most. I couldn't sleep that night that I watched that movie. Now, I've seen much, m many movies that were much more scarier than that, like 1408, The Conjuring. Um, Those are all jumpy scaries. Yeah, I, I, I've seen many more movies that were scarier than Psycho, but for some reason, Sky, Sky Go. <laughs> Psycho was the one that scared me the most. So, pretty interesting. Shout out. Okay, so Erica is one that says Texas Chainsaw Massacre because it's a thought that it was a real event. Right. Well, it is kind of loosely ba based on a real event. Yeah. Right. Ted Ga Ed Gaines? Ed Gaines. So, and I know that's one of the reasons Megan likes dislike some scary movies because the actual thought of the reality of some of them. Well, that's anything made by Rob Zombie. It's kind of disgusting, disturbing. Yeah. But possibly could yeah. be real. Well, the movie kind of Quarantine gross. could have been actually real. You yes. Know, that could have been a real movie. You know, so... Ricardo Quintero, shout out to you. And Christopher Trade Show, you are so very sweet. Christopher said he hates that I am so sick and he would rather it be him than me. But I really wouldn't wish my illnesses on my worst enemies and I would not love to like to see anybody sick like this and Christopher you're so young and I would hate to see you laid up in bed like I am and in pain so 
Yeah. And Val's handling it pretty well and she's in good hands. Yes, I am. Thanks to Kevin. And I am handling it pretty well. Oh, uh, thanks Spasmatic. I uh, gave it a try. Uh, I probably will put it into this video. Uh, I got other things that I want to try. Uh, I, I think that the gauge of wire that I'm using may have a, an effect, but I, I can't help but think that that's not true either because it was working fine and now it's not. So Yeah, it worked but for several months. Looks, and like, then... looks like I need to call an electrician. Yeah. But thanks for the advice. I went, I went through all of it, and and uh, I think we've eliminated all everything that I can. So, and happy belated birthday to Daphne Sheehan, and she got a wonderful birthday gift. She bought a house for her birthday. Yay! Yay. So congratulations on your new house, and a happy belated birthday to you, Daphne. And it is now time for... Oh, come on. <laughs> Katie gave didn't you I an spaz a... Didn't I spaz out enough for you Katie yesterday? Katie gave you an A++++++. Plus, 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 plus. Preckles, you do it. You do it, Preckles. You do it? No. Community! Neighborhood community shout-outs! See, even in pain, I can still muster it up. I started yesterday, <laughs> so you start. You did start yesterday, so I will start today. We added a name to the list today, too. Jack Adams. Katie Caroline. Megan Goss. No. I moved away. Karen Fry. <laughs> McKenna's World. Lucy Bone. Madison Collier. Daniel Scott. Christopher Trade Show. Play bad with username. Selena G Love 487, also known as Brian. Tom Show. Madeline Carl. Rex 25059. ZZ Epic Dude ZZ. Uh, is that Dana Besaw? Beauty Queen 12. Marin Brenda Smith. And Daphne Sheehan from PEI Canada. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here without you guys. We love you all. Thank you. Thumbs up. We'll see you tomorrow.